Hey everyone, Parallel here, and welcome to Star Trek Online. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the final reward for the Romulan Admiralty campaign. And if anyone was unaware, in the recent 11.5 patch that was released, content patch, they released a new campaign for the Romulans. So I was just finishing up this myself. Um, I'm sure many of you out there are probably pretty close or may have already finished it. If you were grinding away, you probably finished it even uh, maybe a few days to a week ago. But I'm very interested to take a look at this and see what the final reward is. And uh, let's take a look at it here together. Now... I just, I'm very, very close to finishing up the campaign. So let's take a look at my overview here. Here is the new campaign. This is the Romulan Republic campaign. You can see all the different rewards you get for the different tiers. And you can see I am literally just tiny percent away from finishing it up. And as soon as I claim one more mission here, I'm sure it will tip me over the edge to tier 10. And according to this, I will be getting 20,000 dilithium, five pass tokens, and one other special thing, which apparently doesn't list here, but you will, you will be getting a uh, epic level gold quality admiralty card. And in this case, I happen to know that it is a tactical ship, uh, but I don't recall the name of it. And I want to claim it here and take a look at what the stats are, and, uh, and let's see what we can do with this ship. So let me just claim something... Well, let's claim the tour of duty. That will definitely do it. Aha, there we go. Accolade complete, tier 10 achieved. And we get the RRW Zedania. Zedania. Okay. It's an odd name. All right, so there it is. All right, let's take a look at this ship. These epic ships are usually have really amazing stats, so I'd like to take a look at it. Here it is, the RRW Zedania. And let's see... Your exemplary service in the name of the Romulan Republic has not been forgotten. The Zidania is proud to aid you. Zidania. It looks like a Valdor. Kind of a beefed up Valdor, I would say. Or maybe like a Morgu. Tier 6. And let's take a look at the stats here. 23 Engineering, 61 Tactical, 51 Science. That's really good. I mean, a bit low on the engineering, but that's 51 science. That's actually really high. That's a higher than some science ships. So that's actually really good for a tactical ship. So this would be a good ship for filling out the tactical and science. And let's take a look at special ability here. Special ability is plus 15 engineering and tactical per ally ship. Very, very good special ability. Man, all of these epic ships are amazing. So there is the ship. Just a quick overview there. Let's um, let's see if we can do something fun with this here. What kind of teams we can make with this. Uh, so yeah, let's do Admiralty. Let's just, yeah, just pull up any mission here. Let's just see what we can do. So let's first slot in the Zidania. All right. What would be a good combo with this? Something heavy in the engineering. Like a Hag would probably be really good. Actually, let's just do this. Let's slot the three from the three campaigns. So we got the Romulan campaign, the Klingon campaign, and let's put the Fed campaign in there, which is, of course, the Rhode Island, which I believe is Harry Kim's ship. Boom, there you go. Man, look at that. 145 engineering, 160 tech, 200 science. That is a pretty awesome team right there. <laughs> the Zidania, the Hag, and the Rhode Island. Holy cow, that is a lot of science. I mean, you're going to be able to complete any mission with this team. So yeah, just from completing the three campaigns, that's a pretty amazing team. Of course, you could probably swap out... If I swapped out the Hag for like the uh, Simulated Assault Cruiser, that'd probably... Uh, it's a more balanced... More balanced team, especially if you want a little more engineering there. Anything else you could throw in there? Uh, the pod stock would probably get you pretty close. If you had a science requirement you had to get rid of, the pod stock would be better than maybe the Rhode Island. 
But uh, yeah, so anyway, there you go. I just wanted to let everyone know and take a look at the reward, the final reward for the Romulan Admiralty campaign, the RRW Zidania. Very, very nice ship. Excellent stats. Um, very good for, you know, for Romulans and Klingons who don't have access to a lot of science ships. It's very good to get that nice uh, boost of a science stat. Plus you get a uh, um, very nice special ability there that can mix and match with some other ships. The plus 15 engineering per any ship, so that's plus 30. You know, that's helps even strengthen the the sort of the weak point of the ship which is the engineering stat so very very good ship can fit into a lot of good teams i would say all right so there it is that is the reward for the romulan admiralty campaign um good luck to everyone out there for completing the campaign hopefully many of you already have or are very close and uh yeah the reward is well worth it um so there you go enjoy Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.